What's up my Vital Point friends? This is Andrew Penzi. We're doing a little scouting today. Come on along for the ride. If you're kind of lost walking around and just don't know like where to set up, where to find trails, lots of times you'll see these little ridges in a property that just stick up a few feet, a little mound um, that go along from whatever prior land use uh, this was. And this is a great spot to just kind of walk along and look because you'll see the deer trails will be worn out um, when they climb up the slope of these little ridges. So this one's only maybe three feet high or so, uh, if that, but um, you could clearly see where the deer are crossing. And when you see a few of these coming together, well, that's a good, that's a good time to uh, stop and look and see if you can find a good tree. <laughs> so that crossing I saw is just like 10 yards right over there. And there's a really nice path that comes up this way. A couple other crossing paths that come in through the middle here. Um, so I was looking for a tree that kind of sees this whole area. The only one I could really find that I can get, get up in is this leaner. It's got a pretty substantial lean though to it. So it's not my favorite choice. You know, I, I never like being in a tree that leans that much, um, but I'm gonna walk up the trail a little bit. Maybe I could see, you know, another spot where a few trails intersect. This area really looks prime though. And on a west wind coming across away from the bedding area, it's golden. So uh, best I've found so far. A lot of these little pines around here have all been rubbed down. Um, some of these Russian olives too were pretty beat up. Uh, some of that might, looks like it might've been from last season. And uh, nothing major, but lots of trails, lots of little rubs. All right, all those little rubs got me all fired up because they're in a nice thick bedding area right on the backside of where that crooked tree was. And they have these access trails coming in with some nice trees that I think I can get a hang on stand in. So I think that's gonna work out great. You're not gonna catch me sitting in this guy's stand. Rickety old wood stand on a dead tree. That's a death trap right there. Well, this is what originally brought me to this area. I found corn. So where there's corn, there's deer, you know that. But uh, it's tricky because a lot of the edges of this are private and the field itself is private. So I gotta go back a little ways and uh, find an area in the public where they're crossing. Lots of signs of people here as well though. So uh, sounds like, seems like high competition. Oh, now we're talking. That's what I've been looking for. Yep, that's what I've been looking for. I actually just bumped pretty nice looking three and a half year old buck, I would guess. Right about here, up oh, this tree too. Nice, nice. So I've been walking parallel to this cornfield, maybe 100 yards in the wood line or so. There's a little ridge along there, walking along that ridge, marking all the cross, major crossing trails coming to and from that field. There's actually a light trail along the ridge itself as well. So um, marked a bunch of trees along there. Really depends on the wind which one I'll go in. Uh, mostly hang on trees, not a lot of good climbers, uh, but Definitely good signs of deer. I'm seeing lots of prints and tracks and I saw that nice buck before run by so uh, Certainly a good area only thing is that almost every hundred yards or so there's trees with ribbon around them and uh, old tree stands left in here So, you know, there's other guys in here, but it is kind of a hike in so uh, maybe if I get in early enough I'll uh, beat them to it So I think the best thing about this area is I found this access trail in uh, which will it's pretty far out of the way from the parking area. So it's a still a long long walk But I could sneak in here along the access road especially for like an evening hunt Before they come back to the corn sneak up here jump in my tree a hundred yards in here and catch them coming down uh, Definitely would be a lot easier than the about mile and a half trek I had coming from the parking spot Bunch of doe tracks coming through here, uh, but you know, come rut where there are does, there are bucks. So, still looks good. Now this is looking pretty beat up, and the best thing is there are no people tracks in here. So, that's always good. Good thing about this area, I think it's still far enough away from the parking area, even though it's like an easy access in. It's far enough away that 
majority of people will not be coming this way. It's yep, this whole edge is really nice. So both these trees are rubbed. Same same distance, about 100 yards from the field. Oh, someone really got fancy here. According to Onyx, this is still state land. Mosquitoes like it. Get away from there, you. I hate finding stuff like this on public land. Because people like claim the spot, but they shouldn't be allowed to do that. All right, I made it back to the car. I am beat, man. That was a hike. Um, but uh, I hung a trail camera. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, uh, but I probably won't be able to check it again until I'm back here to hunt it just because it's so far in. So uh, hopefully we get some good bucks around and it'll be fun to see what's on there anyway. I put it right by all those uh, big rubs that I saw from, looks like from last year and years prior. So uh, hopefully the guy who made it last year is still growing and he's that much bigger this year. Best tip for you guys at the car, always make sure you carry a sticky lint brush with you because I have thousands of those little seed ticks on me. I uh, picked off a couple uh, bigger ones as well. I got all these things here already peeled off. Um, so you definitely just keep peeling, give yourself a rub down, and uh, this thing works pretty amazing, I gotta say. Alright guys, catch you next time. Uh, fun scouting with you.